Hi friends, welcome back to Cadable. This is Engineer Brian Umar, and in this tutorial, we will model this part in Catia. I am using Catia V5, but if you are using a below version of Catia or a future version of Catia, you can still follow this tutorial. So let's go to Catia. Let's go to here Start. Go to here Mechanical Design and select this one Part Design. Here you can rename it as uh, let's say. exercise one and select okay so first of all we will create the space the dimension of the base is 60 by 30 then we will use the pad command to extrude this uh, up to here then we will add the hole and after that we will cut out this portion then we will add the stiffener or rib and lastly we will add the chamfers it is not hard and fast rule to follow this uh, same strict pattern. It is up to you and uh, I am using this uh, pattern for this tutorial. So let's go to Katia. First we will make this one 60 by 30 and this arc. And uh, I'll choose this plane, this top plane. Go to here sketch and uh, I will make a rectangle like this. Okay. So first I will constrain this rectangle. I will select uh, this one, this line, I will select uh, this plane, I will go to here constraint uh, dialog box and I will select this one coincidence. Also I will use uh, symmetric relation, I will select uh, this line, I will select this line and I will select uh, this plane, go to here again and this time I will choose this one symmetry. You can also call this mirror. Select OK. Now you can see uh, these dimensions are symmetric. I will double click it to use it uh, twice, constraint or uh, dimension. And uh, this one is 60 and the other one is 30. So this one is 60, double click it and change it to 60. Similarly, this one is 30, double click it and select OK. Now you can see the color of the dimensions are changed into green which means these are fully defined and remember when we were using SOLIDWORKS the default uh, color of the dimensions when they were fully defined was uh, black. Okay. Now we will add a arc here and you can use a three point arc or you can use the circle. So let's say I will uh, use circle. I will pick this point as center point and I will make one circle like this. I don't need this part so go to here trim and I will delete this one. Okay. I also uh, don't need this one but uh, let's change it to construction because I am using this line as a dimension. So I will pick this line and I will change it to construction so that uh, this line will not be part of my final geometry. Okay. And I will add a tangent relation as well. So select this arc, select this line by holding control key, go to here constraint and uh, I will choose this one tangency. Okay. You can uh, see the symbol here. Now you can see this uh, sketch is fully defined. So I will exit this uh, sketch workbench and uh, I'll go to here pad command and here you can see this dimension is 30 so go to Katia and I will change it to 30. Preview and select OK. I will use this command rotate select this one fit all in OK now we will drill this hole, this dimension is 7.5 and this circle is concentric to this arc. So I will select this face, go to here sketch and again I will select this option fit all in. I will select a circle and I will make one circle like this. Okay. I will select this arc, I will select this circle. 
go to here constraint uh, dialog box and I will apply this constraint concentricity or concentric. Select OK. Now you can see I have to apply a dimension. So this dimension is I guess 7.5 you can see. So let's apply 7.5 double click it and I will change it to 7.5. Okay. I will exit this uh, workbench. This time I will choose this one cutout or pocket. In SOLIDWORKS we call it cutout and in CATIA we call it pocket. Here you can choose this uh, option as well hole. And I will choose this option up to next preview and OK. It is a through hole, it is not a blind hole. Now we will cut out uh, this portion and it is 18 millimeters away from uh, this uh, center line and it is 9 millimeter from this base. So go to CATIA. I will select let's say this face and you can choose this plane as well. So let's say I will select this face sketch. I will choose this option fit all in and uh, let's make one rectangle like this and uh, I will double click this uh, option constraint or dimension because I will choose this option more than once. I will select this line and I will select this line and this dimension is 18 millimeters. Select OK. Basically this is this dimension. Also it is 9 millimeters away from this base. So I will select this line and I will select this line and this dimension was 9 millimeters. Double click it to change and I will select OK. Now you can see uh, I have to apply another relation. So I will select uh, this line, I will select uh, this edge and I will go to uh, this option constraint uh, define dialog box and here I will apply this option coincidence or coincident. Select OK. Now you can see the color of the sketch is turned into green which basically means that the sketch is fully defined. I will exit this workbench. I will go to here uh, pocket and here I will choose this option through all or up to next preview and select OK. Now we will uh, apply this reinforcement or rib or stiffener. The thickness is 7 millimeters and it is right at the center of this part. So let's go to CATIA. First we will sketch this uh, line. I will select uh, this plane because this plane is symmetric. Select this plane, go to here sketch and uh, here we will use uh, line command and I will make one line let's say like this and here we will choose this option rotate ok I will select this vertex and I will select uh, this edge go to here constraint and here I will apply this constraint coincidence select ok now you can see it is not fully defined so I will select this vertex and I will select this edge go to here again and again we will apply this relation coincidence now you can see the sketch is turned into green which means that it is fully defined I will exit this uh, sketch workbench now we will apply the stiffener command so I will apply this one stiffener and I will change this thickness to 7, preview and select OK. Lastly we have uh, this uh, command left which is chamfer. The chamfer is uh, 9 by 9 which basically means that the angle would be 45 degree. So let's uh, hide these planes. OK. And let's rotate this. Uh, Okay, so here is the chamfer command and the length is 9 
and here you can see the degree is 45 I will select this edge and I will select this edge go to here preview and uh, select OK so uh, that's how you can uh, model simple mechanical parts in uh, CATIA I hope you like this uh, short tutorial still if you have any question any query regarding this tutorial or any other tutorial in my list you can ask in comment section thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel for more informative and interesting projects i will see you in the next tutorial thank you